Today in Alabama. Ooh, it's the yeah. end of the Tyler Seabree farewell tour. That's what I've been calling it. He's it's, been on tour longer than Taylor Swift. He has been, and today is Tyler's <laughs> last day with us here on Today in Alabama. Sad for us, but good news for you because you're, you're heading home. Yeah, you know, it's uh, the word bittersweet is such a cliche word, I feel like, but that's about the best way to describe. Uh, you know, when you go from a place where you're enjoying yourself, you're enjoying what you're doing and the people you're around, but uh, you go to a situation that is just as good uh, and you're gaining from it. So bittersweet, definitely. Sad to go, happy to get to where we're going in Ohio. Yeah. But you gave us some presents along the way, Kinsley and Camden, <laughs> and the next four or five of your kids will be born somewhere uh, else. Well, you know, I think we're going to have to stop. <laughs> I'll tell you what, two might be the most, but I came down from South Bend, Indiana uh -huh. by myself, solo, didn't even have a moving truck, left all my furniture there, got a furnished apartment by myself, and then now I have a wife and two kids. Yeah, so look what Alabama house, did to so. you. You came down uh, one, now you got a family of four. I would, you know, That's how I we would, roll. I would say I, I really do feel like I've matured and grown professionally and personally more in Alabama at WSFA than I did at any of my other three stations. I, I think it'd be fair to say that, honestly. And I'm not just saying that because I'm on TV in Alabama right now. But I think I've grown more here than I have at any other job so far. We had someone sure. call last week and said, I can't believe that little rascal's leaving. <laughs> <laughs> little <laughs> rascal. <laughs> but he's leaving with two little rascals yeah. with them. You're yeah. a guy who likes to travel around a lot, too. You know, mm -hmm. you guys like to visit. What are some of the, the sights and scenes that you've seen in Alabama that you'll miss? Oh, that's I'm so glad you asked. That's such a fun question because we've seen so many. I think we went to like 51 of the 67 counties. Wow. In the state. Look at you. Um, missed out on a few, but uh, you know, I think obviously the beach jumps out is one of the best. I've never seen a beach so pretty as the ones in Gulf Shores, uh, Destin, Pensacola. I know that's Florida, but the, down there. Um, the mountains of North Alabama, they are incredible. Pretty. Mentone, the waterfalls up there, uh, Scottsboro, Lake Gunnersville, Lake Martin, out on the boat with the only Josh Johnson. Yeah, that's been <laughs> captain a, Josh. a great memory. Oh, he's such a great captain. Um, uh, the restaurants, the coffee shops, and Wetump, just a shout out, you know, Wetumpka, Tallahassee has a great one, um, uh, Montgomery, Prattville, Millbrook, Auburn, all have places that we've gone to several times just to go get coffee, drive an hour to Auburn just to get coffee because the, the people and the places are so nice. I'm going to miss the traveling here for sure. Yeah. When those northerners in Ohio talk about football, <laughs> oh, I hope gosh. you let them know about the SEC. Yeah. He'll go back to saying, he'll go back to saying pop proudly. Yeah, pop sure. will now be recognized as a fair word to use again because I'll be in fair territory for the word pop. Look at us eating the cra crawfish. crawfish. Yes, first time I did that. Um, yeah, you know, I think Big Ten country is, you know, similar to SEC in terms of how they treat football. So it'll be, it'll be similar, but now that I've experienced it down here, I now know what it is like down here. And when we talk, you know, a bunch of. You can say, yes, yeah. those people are just as crazy uh -huh. as they sound. If not crazy. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now, there is an Alabama Ohio State home and home setting up in the late you know, four or five years, three or four years now. So I maybe we'll get you to come back for a We're going to either need you to fly to Columbus or I'll maybe uh, fly down here. <laughs> That's classic. <laughs> Look at that picture. <laughs> uh, classic Tyler there. Um, or uh, you fly to Columbus or I'll fly down here. I've never been to Columbus. I'll come take a visit. Definitely try to come up the there. The shoe. Absolutely. Yeah, come You'll probably, you. Alabama will probably beat us both times, but hey, you know what? So, we'll show up. Yeah, you're <laughs> off to Columbus, Ohio. Tell us about your job. Yeah, so um, we'll be leaving next Friday, week from today. So Samantha, my wife, is a producer here. She'll be here next week with you guys. She's the you can't get rid of, of her. You can't get rid of her. Yeah. <laughs> She'll, she keeps me in check. You can't get rid of her yet. Um, we'll be moving next Friday. Uh, to a suburb of Columbus, and uh, I'll be working at Spectrum News 1 Ohio, which uh, does things, Spectrum News does news like we do here, but it's a little different, never done anything like it, so we'll see how it goes, but based in downtown Columbus, um, excited to see what it's like. I really don't know what to expect. I've never worked for a company that's other than a new station, like here. First time you see a mesoscale convective system, you better, you better think of us. <laughs> I think the severe weather will uh, hopefully be a little less down there, or yeah. up there, I should say. But we're trading hurricanes and tornadoes for tornadoes and blizzards. Burr. So we'll see. I know we'll miss you. The viewers will I'll miss, miss you, but your family will be looking forward to having you back. In absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm going to miss everybody for sure. We will miss the Seabreeze. Good luck in the future. Make sure you come back and visit. Absolutely. Thank you, guys.